Welcome to Packet Loss, where I cover a range of topics across networking and cybersecurity. Today, we're going to be talking about Mobile Xterm, which is a free tool you can use as a terminal emulator in your environment. I'll be covering a basic setup of the application and some general recommendations. I provided a link to their website in the description. So with that, let's get started. Currently, I'm on Google.com. We're going to be navigating to the actual Mobile Xterm website. So from here, we're going to click on the download page. You'll notice that there's a home edition and a professional edition. The same principles that I'm going to be discussing apply to both editions. However, for the purposes of this training, we're going to be using the free home edition. So I'm going to click on download now, and we're going to wait for that file to install once we click on the installer edition. The only reason you'd ever be using the portable edition would be if you were using essentially a portable storage device, such as a USB drive. So let's get started with the installation. Many months later. We're going to be taking this file and extracting it to our desktop. We're going to minimize out of these windows and we're going to start the installation and accept the terms of the license agreement. And we are finished installing the application. So now that mobile X term is installed, let's open up the application. Upon opening, you'll notice that on the left hand side, your default theme is going to be your light mode. Personally, I prefer the dark mode just for the ease of strain on my eyes for extended sessions at my desk. So I'm going to switch to the dark mode and that is looking cleaner already. I want to be covering the basics today of how to build out a brand new session, how to build out some folders and some general recommendations within mobile X term. So let's get started with that. On the left hand side, under our sessions tab, you'll notice that there's a user sessions icon. Under here, if you right click, if you click on new session, this will prompt you with a whole bunch of options to actually build out brand new sessions. I'm not going to be covering this at this time. I'm just showing you where you would go to build out these sessions currently. So I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to right click again. Under new folder, this is essentially where you would build out a new folder containing multiple sessions. For the purposes of this YouTube channel, I'm going to be building out a home lab, which means I will need a new folder. So we're going to name it home lab, click OK. And then as we expand our home lab, we can right click and actually modify the values of this folder and any sessions that are tied to it. If you are coming from a different terminal emulator, such as PuTTY, TerraTerm, or anything like that, you can import your sessions from a file exported from that terminal emulator into Mobile Xterm, which is very convenient. So you don't have to manually build out any of your sessions all over again, right? Up here at the top, the last recommendations I have for you are going to be under the configuration option. So we're going to click on that. We're going to navigate to the terminal tab on the left hand side under terminal features. You'll see an option for paste using right click. I highly recommend you use that, whether it be in a pre-production environment or a production environment or even a lab environment. The reason I say this is if let's say you're pasting multiple lines of syntax or code into your terminal, you don't want to be right clicking and manually selecting paste every single time. With this feature, essentially just right clicking will do the trick. So I'm going to check that box and then as a preventative measure, this box is also checked. I highly recommend you have this, especially to avoid any kind of botched configurations within your environment. The warn before pasting multiple lines will save you that hassle, right? And the very last thing is the color scheme, right? So we notice that we already have a dark background theme applied. However, we wanna change the text of our local terminals. So we're gonna click on the customize button Right here, you'll notice your background color is black. Your foreground color for your text is currently white. So we're gonna change that to a different color. In my case, I'm gonna change it to lime green and I'm gonna hit okay. And you'll notice a prompt that's essentially saying that every new terminal session that opens up, this is gonna be applied to that. So I'm gonna click okay. And we're gonna start a local terminal. All right. So you'll already notice that I have that lime green text in here. However, just as an example, I'm going to change my directory with two periods. And from here, I'm going to highlight this and you'll notice that there is that lime green coloring on my text as well as the highlighting. And if I were to right click from here, you'll notice that it's also going to paste in that prompt as well. 
So with that, that concludes everything I wanted to cover on getting started with Moba X Term. In future videos, I plan to cover the many features Moba X Term has to offer. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment below and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.